bracket. So let's see who he beat today. He beat Sir Salty. He beat Zucchini, who is uh, doing a lot of work as um, Scizor. I can remember the character. Yes, ah. from HBA. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, yeah, he just had this really, really good run so far today, and he's he's killing. It. I mean, top 16 winners, but also I think the only chandelier that we have in all of top 16. Am I right on that? Don't quote me on anything. Nobody ever no, quote me on anything. Oh, that's right, that's right. Unfortunately, Ingbad's out, so now he's the only remaining one. He's the only one left. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. He's the highest placed in Chandelure, and he is in fact rocking the Chandelure. Sundula, of course, on the classic Sceptile. This man's been playing Sceptile since release. He has. It's his character, man, and he's one of those players who's not afraid to make some of the crazy reads. I mean, especially with, like, Leaf Blade, he's willing to Leaf Blade a lot. But that's not going to be very safe in this matchup. Yes. And this guy's crazy, man. He will, he will travel the world just for locals. This man, this man flew across the country just to play at a Wednesday Night Fight local. Yeah, and he won. Respect the commitment. Yeah, exactly. Oh, big punish. Crit jump X. There's a little bit of PSP on board, I think, already. Yeah, so that is going to phase shift. That trap uh, was not worth it. Didn't get a setup. But still, oh, there's going to have to be so much respect right here. Good patience by Abadango. Abadango? Abadango, I think. Abadango. Yeah, yeah. My pronunciation is terrible. I'm not going to lie. Oh, that might be a punish yeah, it Will. Ooh, all right. The will -Wisp did not actually make it all the way over to Sundula. Backstab. Interesting. I think he was trying to bait maybe a smog right there, but this is working too. This should be a beautiful conversion. Yeah, the wall splat. There it is. 55 HP left. It only takes one more reach, but Abadango, very smart. Expect the counter to come in throughout the counter pierce. Wow, that Whoa. is so much damage. I saw his shield up as he was blocking or getting hit by that. That's it. Sundula, beautiful stuff. Taking that first round of Abadango. He's finding his way around this fire. He's finding his way around the zone. And uh, yeah, Sundula right now playing very, very smart. I'd like to see more trap play, but of course against Chandelure, traps get absorbed so easily. Yeah, they do. They just disappear. So I, I mean, I think the way he's playing is really good too. He's playing very simple and he's just playing patient, 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 but then pounces every time he gets a chance. And that's something Sceptile can do, especially with that crazy dual jump Y. That, as we say it, it comes out, misses though. And I don't know why it misses, it's red. Oh, the smog not quite, not quite connecting. Now he's got to deal with this full screen trap game and oh no, put himself in a little bit. Yeah, and like I said, man, every single one of Chandler's A buttons, the specials, they all counter pierce. So Chandler's got to be careful. Double smog, nice. Oh no, Sunduel getting opened up way more this time. He's not able to find that opening he needs. Oh, and yeah, that's, that's gonna definitely, be that is <laughs> way That <overkill>. might kill. <laughs> you think Hex with the defense debuff is gonna kill a 22 HP? Maybe. It Maybe. might, it might. Does base 60 damage or 80 damage or something? Yeah, I mean, without any any debuffs, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of damage, the point. But that means they're both going this final round, and Burst is super dangerous for Sceptile. I don't think we've seen a single burst activation this entire set. We have not. Surprising. I expect to see one very soon. But Abadango doing a great job of keeping Sundula out, not really allowing him to take advantage of that mid range that he loves to be in so much. Especially Sundula. All right, that's still going to be plus on block. There was no avoiding it. Uh oh, shield is getting kind of low. Not going to matter. The raw beam hits. Oh, can it be with punish? No, he tried. He tried to. Just didn't quite have the range. There's finally the counterattack combo that we were waiting for, man. And Sandula set up a trap that should sprout. <laughs> he just sat there. They both just sat there and waited for that trap. That was yeah, beautiful. he knew it was coming. Oh, lands a fully charged air jump zigzag. And that's going to be a combo. It's definitely not going to kill yet. Yeah. Now with all that scaling. But the biggest deal here is that it's going to give Sundula an attack debuff. So that, yes. that's going to last maybe until the end of his burst, or maybe almost the end of his burst. So the risk is way, way better for Abadango now, especially with the fact that he's got this, which could be baited. Oh, he, oh it doesn't matter. Wow. He's going, going to Abadango. Man, yeah, Abadango just exhibiting a beautiful display of perfect zoning, man. Like, he's zoning out a character that wants to zone you back, but at the mid-range. Yeah. So yeah. Chandler keeps him at exactly at the range he wants, and Sundula, I think he fell victim to a lot of counter-pierce moves. 
You'd see him go in, try to approach the counter, like you said, doing a lot of leaf blades. Yep. But Chandler was ready, man. Every single A button does counter pierce. Yeah, so he's got to be careful. It's not even like you, the move says it. It's like a passive ability that yes. Chandelure actually just has. Yes. And uh, it hurts a lot, especially if you're a character like Sceptile, where you want to use Leaf Blade to counter things from that mid-range. But, he's, he, you know, he used a lot of jump Y. He used a lot of patience into jump Y in the first game. Worked out for him, or in the first round of the first game. He needs to start doing that again. Still, I mean, you wait too long, and you're getting shield broken, no matter what, against Shandy. So, you just got to make the right reads. And there we go. That was a good one, but he doesn't get the conversion. Oh, there it is. Beautiful slide into him. Trying to find this corner pressure, but he's just so much respect. And of course he drops his shield down. You know, we've seen a lot of raw 5Xs from Abadongo. I would really like to see an attempt to bait that. Like maybe like a point blank 8Y from Sundula. Like it's not going to be a huge risk. He might still be able to block overheating time. Uh, but probably get hit by Smog, but at least try something. Because he's letting him do it for free. And every time you even block that, it means that you're getting pushed back to full screen. That shield looking mighty low, but oh my lord. Such a strong move. That should connect. Nice. Use that for the, I think that was the first time that we've seen him even try that. Yeah, it was. It's a very easy thing to read if you're expecting it. Oh, beautiful CADC. Realizing it was going to go behind. Is that enough? No, almost though. There's a lot of health to be gained back from uh, a support activation here if Abadongo create this space. But that's going to be tough. Oh, but if he manages to get a shield break, he should be able to do the support summon. No! Oh, you know what? He needs to do damage. The support's not going to help him that much. Oh, call it. If he calls it. Oh, oh my oh. lord. Abadongo doesn't need the support. So I don't need no HP. I just need to go aggressive. Find a gra the first grab of the day from Abadongo. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah, wall splat into like an Oki throw from Shandy. That's like super rare. But that means that Matt, we're on match point for Abadongo to get into top eight winners. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yes, he baked that and baked the uh, Raw 5X. Oh, no. Catches him. No full conversion. Yeah, kind of right at the end of that vulnerability frame. Again, a CADC right behind him to catch that repositioning. Oh, that is, oh, yeah. wow, well, yeah, no punish at all, no attempt, and well, raw point blank flash again. Making the fireworks go off, Sundula in the sky. Can he find the JY conversion? No, he cannot. Oh, he tried. I don't think I've seen a single leaf blade hit this entire set. No, Abadango is expecting it, man. Like I said, those all those specials are just cutting right through leaf bait, Sundula. Got to figure out something. All he wants right. to absorb all the projectiles. Very smart stuff. Yeah, and it's going to be plus and do a lot of chip and just put him into the situation where he can start throwing out traps, try to whip punish something. Oh, wow. And he caught the dash back of the counterattack. Abednego tried to play it safe. Unfortunately, the dash back is what got him caught. And Sundula on the board here in game number two. Well, he needs to take it. Still match point for Abednego. Oh, the trap exploded behind him. He was not expecting to run back into that. And oh, the, I think that flash actually just disappeared. All right, big combo in the corner. So going to get even that extra damage. Drains <laughs> the clock. And with that defense debuff, that is going to do an absolute ton of damage. Especially on an already low life character. Oh, yeah. that almost punished the forward dash. But still, all right, crit throw. That's really good. And his throw is going to give Oki infield phase. He gets really close. And yeah, nice block. Wow. Yeah, very smart reaction. And that's going to hurt. Such a high damaging field phase throw. Drain the energy. Drain the synergy. I'm oh, sorry, just the HP, I mean. Oh, no. And another one. Sun Dula wow. on the board here. Beautiful choice, actually, by, by Dula because it got rid of the potential to burst. And that was really yeah. something that, I mean, honestly, we should have seen Abadongo burst earlier. Like when yeah. he was just knocked down in the corner, it was a huge risk to not in the first place, but he just wanted to get a better situation, I guess. Never got yeah. it, never got it. Spe against any character who drains your meter, you know, it's gonna yeah, be yeah, Gengar, it was insane, man. Sceptile, don't ever risk it, just do it. Harvest did that man like a potato. Got him for what he's worth. He's like, you know what? I need this game. I need to go into game number three. I need a shot advancing into winner's side top eight.
And boy, that chandelier looked ripe for the picking. <laughs> it's like a big blueberry. <laughs> Giant blue glowing potato with fire. <laughs> sure, sure. But here we are, man. Game number three. And again, Avadango just trying to keep up that zone as much as possible. The shield pressure is so real, but the flash kick. All right, and Sun Duel is prepped for uh, Pace. Oh, got the. That's what like, a conversion! I don't think I've actually ever seen that. Someone that's so close that you convert off it with 8Y. Ooh, into the plus, into the trap, into another trap! Sun Dula pulling out all the stops here, looking very strong. Yeah, until he gets armor broken by Raw. Uh, jumping A. Oh, wow! Actually beat it out, and it's like just vulnerable. What are you doing? What was that? CNDC, CNDC, CNDC. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, he's getting punished for that. Oh, sure. my lord. Lots of damage, and the debuffs are going away. So now it's looking way cleaner, way closer, and uh, from really just one strong choice. Yeah, Sandula, man, making all the right choices. All the most unique choices. But Chandler, very smart stuff, just hanging around. He just flip kicked over the beam. I did not know you could do that. That was so beautiful. Very smart jump from Abadonga getting out of a tense situation. This is very close. Sandula popping that burst, trying to hold on to what life lead he has. And a hex not going to be enough. That's actually no, going to drain the clock. That's actually like the worst thing you could do. I think the only thing possible would have been for him to dash up, dash up, overheat, right? I don't think anything else can do that much damage within like three seconds. No. It had to have been overheat. Beautiful, beautiful stuff from Sandula. Holding on to that round one lead. He did lose burst, but. He can very easily get it back. Chandler pretty close to having, uh, or sorry, Abadango very close to having his burst here. Yeah, and I think he knows that even uh, if Abadango does have burst, it's not that scary, really. No. Overall, Shandy with burst, not one of the ones you're it's most scared with. It's just a lot of chip. Yeah, yeah. It's like one freak get off me. Oh, baited! Beautiful! The beautiful! Next. Oh, my lord! Son, Tula, show him what's up at the reset! Draining the synergy, draining that HP. And the red of Y! With the defense debuff, that was so much damage. We are close to death here for Abadongo, and he, okay, he's got the support. He can call it to get one free get out of jail card, but. And the Leaf Blade finally connects. Sundula tried to get the read on the jump. He did not find it. What's it gonna be? Can he find the throw? No, Abadongo with a beautiful read. Oh, and he's so close to burst. He's not gonna be able to, uh, yeah, get that hit off with the Lapras. Oh, I can't believe that connected. Abadongo with the rage. So much damage, both players have synergy. The free get off me card, like you said. Espeon also online to get a little more HP back. Oh, I like this. Uses that to just restore his shield health. There's only 10 seconds left. He can punish this, and they think That he should will. be it. Yes, it is. Sandula moving on to top eight over Abadango on winner's side. Going from reverse match point to win three, no, I'm sorry, four rounds straight. Beautiful, beautiful adaptation. He started catching on to all of the, essentially the escape tools that Abadango had. That's what we saw him, you know, he would dash up and do 8 wire. He would just do like these like Man. raw anti-air throws and he started using a lot more leaf, uh, right, giga drains, giga just drain. everything in general. He just started adapting and that's really like how he plays. He tries to figure out how people get out of his pressure and it kicked in just in time. That was insane. And can we talk about for a second the fact that he's CADC'd? Like literally six times in a row for no reason. And not only that, it was like CADC around him in field. It wasn't just like at and back. It was like doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. It was weird. It was around him in a circle, man. That was hilarious. But congratulations to Sandula advancing over Abadango, which arguably people probably would have said Abadango over Sandula. So I don't want to call it an upset. Very, very close game. I honestly could not have predicted who would have won that. Yeah, same. Very, very close skill level in players. Abadango, I know he's he has other games he focused on as well. Sundula, same. Uh, but just a beautiful display of what that matchup is capable of. And Sundula, like I said, congratulations moving forward. Abadango still has opportunities in loser's bracket. Um, he'll be playing the top part of loser's bracket, which is the whoever be – that'll be some person, I believe. Uh, it looks like – oh, he's one below that. So he's going to be playing Goken Respect. It looks and like Goken Respect. And then if he wins that, it should be – oh, no, it splits up. Then Who it's knows? in the top eight, yeah. So I'm not exactly sure who's there there. But –